it's syruping season, so I thought it would be a great time to talk about maple syrup's strange, woodsy, and really awesome cousin that costs like 10 times as much as maple syrup, birch syrup. We're going to go over how I use it, a simple salad dressing, and then what I like to call the glaze of the gods. So birch syrup has a little bit less sugar, but it's great in sweet or savory dishes. And there's going to be a lot of glazing going on in a little bit. So basically, you can think of birch syrup as like a maple or an aged balsamic substitute, and you can use it in sweet or savory dishes because it's less sweet than maple syrup. There's the two of them side by side. So birch syrup's a lot darker, typically. It makes a really good glaze. Uh, these smoked venison shanks glazed with birch syrup have been on my site for a couple of years. A lot of people like those. I like it for breakfast too. I like it with wild rice, a little bit of homemade yogurt, fruit, there's some butternuts. It's also really, really good with blue cheese. Excellent with blue cheese, especially. And with desserts, something creamy, something smooth. There's a panna cotta I make with my wild vanilla extract. Very, very good too. Creamy, simple things. So birch flavor and birch oil is also used to make uh, drinks. This is one example that's just okay. I like to mix birch syrup into whiskey. They do use whiskey in Alaska too. So I, instead of using red coloring in the drink, I mix it with my wild cherry whiskey. All right, now I'm going to show you a really simple salad dressing. Just a super simple salad. This is how I make a lot of different salads. Um, I don't make a vinaigrette, really. I have the dressing in separate containers. There I had a little bit of oil and a little bit of birch syrup. There's some basil leaves, a couple radishes. Uh, there was a blood orange at the co-op, so I got one. You know, very, very simple and I'm just gonna stir it really gently. It's almost like folding something when I'm stirring it. And I'm seasoning and, in taste, seasoning and tasting, seasoning and tasting. Just adding a little bit of birch syrup, a little bit of oil, seasoning with salt and pepper until it tastes just right. And I rarely make dressings that I have to put in a jar and shake up. Uh, the sweetness is really good, especially with wild greens. Uh, a little bit of sweetness. That's really, really good. Okay, the glaze of the gods. This is my favorite. I mean, just look at that shining log of glossy deliciousness. This is a short rib that I've cooked. And I'm going to save the braising liquid. I'm going to remove the bone. And now I'm going to square it up a little bit. Uh, this is going to be reminiscent of the dish I did on Hulu last year. Because uh, it's one of my favorite ways to prepare meat. And this is not an exact science. Sometimes I would cut these into like perfect rectangles. If I was, you know, feeling that way, I don't really do the perfect rectangles much anymore. But I'm going to take the cooking liquid there, and I'm actually going to add a little bit of gelatin too because it wasn't as sticky as I wanted. And then I'm going to add a couple tablespoons of birch syrup, maybe like one and a half tablespoons per person. And then you just bring it up to a simmer and get that nice and hot. And you're going to reduce that liquid, and you're going to start basting the meat occasionally. This is something you, you can do, and I like to do casually at the stove. You know, I'll have a drink, and I'll be talking to someone, and we just kind of let it go nice and slow. And eventually, you're going to see, look at all that. Once the water starts to evaporate, now the work begins, and you start lacquering this thing until it's just shining. And then I'm going to turn the heat down to low or medium at the end because I don't want to burn it. And you can always add a little water to refresh it if you need. But you just keep lacquering that thing and lacquering that thing. And yeah, it can be a little bit putsy if you're doing multiple ones. But once you taste it, you will not care. It is so good. It's so much fun. Uh, you can do it with a number of different things. But birch syrup is great because it's not too sweet. Yeah. Just look at that. So right at the end, I'll turn the pan off and I'll tilt it. And then I will just get it as sticky and glossy as humanly possible until I just can't take it anymore. And just look at that thing. 
just completely lacquered. And sometimes I wouldn't put a little extra, extra sauce on them. Uh, there's some sweet potatoes, uh, but I will put a little extra sauce just because sauce. And just look at that. Just glossy, rich, and delicious. And butter soft as well. That's it for today. Happy syrup season, and thanks for watching.